Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave Nine video. All right, so definitely the Adin and uh, Veronia Plus Fifteen has been released for almost three to four days now. So a bunch of updates, some things that I've discovered, and I just want to share with you guys. All right, so let me see if I can find regarding. Uh, hopefully, I can find a good formation. And first things first, I've been testing out. Veronia with Taylor in the arena and it's freaking awesome like it's it's really really cool I didn't know you can unlock so much potential with Veronia and Taylor and probably one of the best things that I've noticed so far is Taylor has the ability to one-shot Glacier before this Taylor can you know can do that maybe perhaps I'm not entirely sure but with Veronia's help she definitely can all right consistently as well that's the most consistent thing I've seen so far. Alright, let's have a look. This Glacier is plus 15 on the enemy. Look at this. Alright. Veronia buffing Taylor. Going in. Zoop! Poof! Alright, so Ta Glacier just died. Glacier just died like that instantly. So, it's something that I've noticed. So, Taylor buffed by Veronia can one-shot a Glacier plus 15. No problem at all. So, it's the same thing with Adin. So, I think the reason why is because Taylor has very high base attack, alright? Her crit damage, her attack is very high. So that might be one of the reasons why she was able to do so. Um, maybe before this, she she was able to do so as well, but I'm not entirely sure because Taylor is not something that I've used in the arena, but right now, because she doesn't die with Veronia's buffs, so I feel like it's such a consistent thing to do. So I've been testing out different formations, various different ones as well. So definitely, Taylor one-shotting Glacier. So that's the first findings that I found. Alright, so my Veronia is plus 14, Taylor is plus 15 of course, and you guys saw it right there. Let me find a few more battles, hopefully I can show you guys as well the consistency of this. Okay, this is a good one. Against Vulman H. Okay, so again, Glacier plus 15 right here. I'm gonna show you guys the shield runes that Glacier has. So that, uh, to prove that I'm not lying about this. You guys can try it out for yourself as well. So this one has a Dalvi front in the mid. Notice that Rafitia and Taylor, sorry, uh, Rafitia and Glacia, they are both aligned with that Dalvi. So this Rafitia has 53% defense. This Glacia has 59% defense. All right, Taylor going in. Look at this. Okay, never mind. But we'll get it next round. We will get it next round. So Glacia is definitely plus 15 with 59% defense. So let's speed things up and I'll show you guys the same thing right here. Okay, so Asmode going in. And Taylor can one-shot that Glacia easily. 10k damage. Look at that. Alright, so it's definitely something that's consistent. I've not seen it fail yet. So just thought uh, I want to make a video and let you guys know about this as well. And one more thing to note, and that is none other than Glacia herself. Uh, regarding the interaction between Glacia and Adin. So let me see if I can find some. Okay, so this is a good one right here. Okay, so notice this. Uh, I know some of you guys might be confused. Why is um, your Adin sometimes dying, right? So because Adin typically has 100% defense. So here I'm going to showcase what happens. Uh, occasionally, this might be a situation where your Adin might die. So plus 15 Adin right here. So this is more than enough, 27.2% uh, shield rune, 28.82. So that is going to be more than enough to give Adin a 100% uh, defense in battle. But I'm going to show you guys why this Adin or how this Adin can die. I think the Adin didn't die right here, but I will show you guys how his stats can be reduced. So this is something that many players overlook. And it's very important to know this, especially when you're going into battle like Guild Wars, uh, Underground Arena, Tournament, you need to know this. Okay, so notice Adin right here. Look at that, 100% defense, right? So my Taylor, boom, one shot that Glacier again. So now Adin goes in. All right, so the Grand goes in. Adin has 100% defense. Notice that. Notice Adin has 100% defense. We're gonna observe that. Okay, so now Adin is gonna go hit Glacier. Boom, look at that. Adin is frozen and he has 36% defense. Okay, so what happened right there? Glacia has this skill right here, which applies reduction in stats by 65%, but it's not fallen under the category of stats weakening. 
because Adin is immune to stats weakening. But Glacier skill right here, this is fallen under attack interference category. Alright, so this is a bit tricky. Many players might have overlooked this. So this 65% reduction in stats is going to affect Adin a lot. So this might be one of the few cases where if you notice your Adin might be dying, you know, it could be because of Glacier. Alright, the interaction between Adin and Glacier. So Glacier is still like I'm not saying that she is the best counter to add in or anything. I feel like Dalvi is still better, but she could be used, right? She's a usable unit to counter add in specifically. So definitely you guys see it here first. So I was playing one arena match earlier today and I noticed my ice mode suddenly one shot and add in and then I was like, holy, there's no way that add in has 100% defense because uh, my, my tailor failed to one shot that add in. And then after that, I watched the replay and I noticed, okay, the adding got stats weakened uh, by the attack interference skill from Glacier. So that's something that every single player out there have to keep in mind. So it's something that will happen to your add-in if you are an add-in user as well. So this particular formation, for example, is very good against Taylor formation because I have my Taylor uh, clump up mid. So this one is like a Lucius Grand. It's an old formation that you have seen from time to time just to counter Asmode, I think. Or just to counter Christina, rather. That could work as well. Doom. Yeah, so most likely I'm going to lose this one because everything is perfectly executed in terms of placements. But this formation on the enemy right here is exceptionally weak against top lane formations. Alright, so if you have a strong top lane, you're going to meet them on top. And it's kind of... Because there's still Cecilia right here, right? So Cecilia, you go with Asmo and Christina, you're pretty much pretty much screwed at that point, I think. So it's something that uh, players have to consider as well. So no formations are perfect, regardless. Okay, let's, let's try to have a look at the defensive lock as well. So hopefully we'll be able to find some battles. Now this is a good one from Enemy Astoros. So bear in mind, this is me defending. So Enemy is attacking me. So let's show you guys some capabilities of this particular formation or this kind of format with Taylor and Asmut mid following up. Okay, so wow, Lucius in the middle like that. I don't know, man. That's just calling out for Taylor to hit me. Hit me, Taylor. And then Kablam. Oh, in that case, Glacia first. That Glacia is torn. Okay, so but at that point, does it matter though? Because I'm pretty sure. Uh, the Nartus and says, Why is that Nartus moving so late? What? What is with this formation? What am I looking at? That is so weird, man. That is so weird. Alright, the Adin is frozen. You guys know what's up. That Taylor is gonna jump in and one shot that Adin for sure. Easily. So, once a frozen Adin can only do so much. Okay, so we have one more from Enemy Fell Lin X. Now this looks interesting because this formation reminds me of my own, right? It's slightly different, it tweaked a little bit, but you can sort of see the similarities. So enemy goes first, Michaela. Is that Michaela to Asmode straight? Wow. Christina going in. Okay. Taylor. Taylor power. Oof. Since that Benshina is torn right there. Holy, how am I winning this? There's no way I'm winning this, right? Is there a way? Is there a way for me to win this? I don't know. So that Lyudmila is gonna go next. I'm gonna one-shot my Dalvi, I assume. So Dalvi is gonna die. And then... Let's see. Oh, Taylor buffing Glacia. Okay, so Adin is frozen at that point. Hmm. My Benshina going in. So enemy has two frozen units. One is... Add in and one more is Benshina. I'm quite surprised I actually did I actually won this. I mean it shows me as a win. But I I have my doubts. <laughs> I have my doubts. Like it doesn't look winnable to me. Like that. Um Benshina is gonna die eventually, right? So I'm guessing what happens is that add in, by the time he recovers, she recovers, she's gonna lose the the attack increase, I assume. Alright, so because once reach 50 turns, Adin will lack the attack. 
Okay, so this is one of those long stalling battles, it seems. At that point onwards. Okay, no wonder I won this. So, oh, okay, that's how I won. That Michaela. That Michaela to Lyudmila as always. Alright. They're always suiciding. If, if they can't do anything, they just can't do anything. The suicide will occur. Just a matter of time. And... Yeah, from this point, I'm just... Struck. Wow, this is like 75 turns battle. Adin has like 400 HP. Adin is most likely gonna die at that point. No, 100% defense still. Can Adin die though? To counter from reflective counter refuge? He does look like he received a bit of damage. Not much. That stats weakening, 65% stats reduction from getting frozen. That is a lot. Okay, I have no idea what happened to my own Benshina. <laughs> but yeah, long stalling battles like this are kind of fun to watch sometimes because you're pretty sure you lost already, but then you want to find out like how do you win this, right? It's one of those scenarios, you know? Uh, Grand versus... Well, enemy Grand is plus 14. Okay, okay, I see a lot of plus 14 Grand nowadays. And Glacier. So enemy Grand is frozen, why is that? Did Grand lose this as well? 100 turns. Okay, makes sense. So once 100 turns comes, Grand lose the first ability, the debuff reflection. So from that point onwards, I can see what happens right here. I think it's just happened to be because I happen to have a Glacier, and that just turns the entire battle for me. Wow. Just the existence of Glacier alone. I didn't know Glacier could do this much. Like... You might not have noticed that impact, but fro freezing that Grand 100 turns after, freezing the Adin and Benshina several turns, uh, and that Lucius, it just helps, man. Glacia is just, the impact is huge in that battle. It's huge. Alright, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Again, let me know what are your thoughts on Glacia uh, and Adin currently in the current meta. Are you guys running Veronia as well? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like. Make sure to turn on the notification bell as well so you won't miss out on any of the Brave 9 videos I'm putting out. As always, have a nice day. Goodbye.